I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will summarize all the steps which you should take to find equations of perpendicular bisector. The question here is find equation of a line that is perpendicular bisector of a segment AB with end points given to us A as minus 6 minus 1 and B as 8 7. So the first step here should be to find midpoint of AB. Of AB, the segment AB. You can use the midpoint formula, and let me call this midpoint as MAB, that is midpoint of AB. Use the midpoint formula, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 gives you x value, y1 plus y2 divided by 2 gives you y value and this is using midpoint formula the second step is find slope of use slope formula to find slope m of ab and the slope formula is as you know y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The next step should be find slope of perpendicular line, right? So you can use the perpendicular postulate, right? So we can use the postulate for perpendicular line. So product of that slope AB and the perpendicular line should be minus 1 or we can say m1 equals to minus 1 over mab, right? So you can rearrange and write it. Once you know the midpoint and the slope of the perpendicular line, you can use either slope intercept form of the line or you can use point slope form, right? So you can find equation of perpendicular bisector. So we prefer to use point slope form. Which is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, right? And then you can apply distributive property. And simplify to get the result. So these are the steps which we are going to follow to get the equation of perpendicular bisector. You can pause the video, follow all these steps and get the result or, and then check with mine. So let's begin by finding the midpoint of AB. Let us say M AB is the midpoint. The average value is minus 6 plus 8 divided by 2 for x and minus 1 plus 7 divided by 2 for y and that is equal to 2 over 2 is 1 7 6 3 7 minus 1 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so we get the midpoint and now let us find the slope small m of a b so slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and in this case, these are the points. So the points given to us are, so this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, correct? So we'll apply this formula, y2 minus y1, which is 7 minus of minus 1, divided by 8 minus of minus 6, that is 8 over 14, which can be simplified as, 4 over 7. So we have applied the slope formula and got the slope of the segment AB. Now we need perpendicular bisector. So the slope of perpendicular line should be negative reciprocal as we have shown here, which means negative of this value and 7 over 4. So you can verify that 4 over 7 times negative of 7 over 4 is indeed equals to minus 1. So that is the postulate for perpendicular lines. If product of their slopes is minus 1, then they are perpendicular. 
Now we need to find equation of a line. So we are finding now equation and we'll find this equation in we'll start with point slope intercept form of perpendicular line for which we know now the perpendicular line slope is minus 7 over 4 and it goes through the midpoint of segment AB which is 1 3 correct so the formula is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 let us substitute this is x1 y1 right so we have y minus 3 equals to slope of minus 7 over 4 x minus 1 and now we'll apply the distributive property right and simplify so we have y minus 3 equals to minus 7 over 4x plus 7 over 4 now we can add both sides 3 and find y so y equals to minus 7 over 4x plus 7 over 4 plus 3 now this could be simplified so we have minus 7 over 4x and that becomes 12 12 plus 7 is 19 so plus 19 over 4 right so there we have the equation of perpendicular bisector and the equation is y equals to minus 7 over 4x plus 19 over 4. So these are the steps to be followed and I hope you also got the same result. And that is how you find perpendicular bisector of a line given a line segment AB. I hope all the steps are clear. Thank you and all the best.